I'm done stalling. I'm done stalling. <laughs> I'm done stalling. We on monument mythos. We got to see what the what the fucking American government is doing with all these goddamn uh, monsters and shit that they putting in the, in these uh, monuments. Shit is crazy. But yeah, episode one, season two. Before you can finish brushing your teeth. Before you can finish showering. Before you can finish getting dressed. Before you get okay, bro. What is this? A computer? This yeah, this some this some dial-up shit. Popcorn will be ready. I'm not buying no motherfucking computer called popcorn. Ah, maze. The company called Maze. That's why they named the shit popcorn. Cause it's like corn. You get it? That's some corny ass shit. <laughs> I don't know why that sound effect made me laugh. Maze is a U.S. Computer Private Safety Commission, widely known as the mandatory recall of all personal computers. Personal computers. Outbreaks reported in 1960. Maze Machines is founded by Rob Careers and Rob Watroba. In 1969, President Dean establishes the Department of Technology, uniting all major American computer corporations and allocating billions of dollars toward technological advancement. That's my president, bro. By 1970. Maze produces the first personal video camera and home computer. Ahoy boy, or ahoy hoy, I, I couldn't see what that should say. In 1972, Maze collaborates with the Department of Defense to initiate the first system to control the true forces of mass destruction, TFMDs. In 1980, Maze is attacked. Hey, what the fuck? In 1990, the last American personal computer is shut down on national television. Them niggas say, hey, shut all this shit the fuck down. In 2000, we've learned from our mistakes. I doubt it. Control is confidence, and today there are no doubts. With Maze Movie Maker, now you can take control. I like how the, the, the maze looks like a maze. You get it? It's like corn and a maze at the same time. It's like it's a corn maze. Oh my god. <laughs> Beware the monuments, they are all connected. I was just about to say, like, what the fuck do this got to do with the the monuments? The military industrial complex grows. Apple probably doing some shit like this and we just don't know. The cave was very quiet. And human. It do look wet as fuck. No animals, not even bugs. This this cave look weird as hell. What happened here? I don't want to know. Why would she say that? I'm not gonna hit the sound effect, but why would she say that? See, this is why you don't go spelunking. Do not visit these sites. They have not been fed in years. Filmed by Maya and Nathaniel Arnoldson. Remember, Maya went missing and shit. She was a Lincoln looker and she went missing and shit, right? Suez Canal, March 2021. This is like a flash game I used to play. March 23rd, 7.44 a.m. April 6, 2021. President Clinton and Clinton announces a new... Wait a minute, nigga. Hillary won the election in this universe? <laughs> For the last two weeks, the container ship ever given has obstructed the Suez Canal. With every passing hour, it is costing the global economy over $400 million. At the request of the Egyptian president, the United States will end the crisis with nuclear force. Both Congress and the United Nations Security Council have approved the use of a small thermonuclear weapon on the Suez Canal, several miles from the ever given's location. The blast itself will not reach the ship. However, the waves generated are expected to dislodge the ever given from his present position. I'm reading this bitch too fast. <music> Evacuations of the cities along, along the waterway are in progress. The fact that they try to use a nuclear bomb to try and dislodge a ship is crazy. Twitter machine? This Elon's new shit. The ship disappeared according to officials. It got up and left, why is everyone confused? Maybe an hour Elon was never born. Shit, we can only hope. The Americans just released a monster. 
Nobody asked for a sequel to Attack of the Crab Monsters, 1957. The Americans destroyed the Suez Canal and, re and released a demon. Great. They mad nonchalant about this. Suez Canal crab will not be destroyed. The crab cannot be eliminated without causing great damage to the ever given. In this day and age, the world is unprepared for a loss of cargo of such magnitude. Therefore, the Suez Canal crab will not be destroyed. Um... I think you should destroy that bitch. In hopes of returning the ever given back to the sea, efforts are underway to carefully manipulate the crab's route through Egypt. What's on this ship? <laughs> that we like, they like, we can't, we can't fuck with this crab because the shit on the ship is way too important. What's on the ship? Y'all got a crab monster. It's a crab demon. Destroy that bitch. The 2021 Cairo Tower Stampede. Due to evacuations around the Suez Canal, millions travel to Cairo in search of housing. In response to this migration, many building capacity limits for popular attractions were inflated. Damn. The Cairo Tower, one of the tallest buildings in Egypt, had its own recommended capacity limit increased from 700 persons to 1,000. Why the motherfuckers seeking shelter in this tower? On the evening of April 16th, 2021, Upwards of 1,200 visitors toured the Cairo Tower at once. Although concerns of overcrowding had been raised by several staff members, the building manager dismissed their comments. Since the Suez Canal crab would be passing by later in the evening, he also encouraged visitors to enter the upper levels of the tower as that would provide a better vantage point. Would it? At 8.15pm, at 8 the Suez Canal crab was seen to have stumbled, and in an attempt to regain its balance, crashed into one side of the Cairo Tower. <laughs> that motherfucker it tripped? Deep. It wasn't it was even trying to fuck them shits up. It just tripped? I'm glad y'all y'all cared this much about this motherfucking An cargo. Estimated 800 containers broke from their locks and pushed forward an additional 1,000 containers. Damn! As all 1,800 containers tumbled down through the building, the structural integrity of the Cairo Tower rapidly diminished. Falling debris and containers are reported to have killed over 800 visitors. 800 niggas! The Cairo Tower fully collapsed, dragging the immobilized Suez Canal crab into the ground. In total, only 39 of the 1,189 visitors of the Cairo Tower survived. Two of the 15 staff members escaped to safety. Damn, nigga, everybody died in that bitch, basically. Six security guards survived. Although paramedics and police officers Rip had over. arrived shortly before the Cairo Tower's collapse, the visibly unstable tower prompted them to collect survivors on the ground and retreat to a safe distance. That's smart. Upon impact with the ground, the Suez Canal crab and the Ever Given separated. The large wounds caused by the separation discharged thousands of gallons of seawater and bodily fluids. Damn! The hazardous waste collection team and soldiers attempted to plug the gushing lesions. However, survivors report that their efforts were mostly futile due to the team's inability to stay standing on the slip. Hey, these, <laughs> these fucking stock PNGs and niggas falling is crazy. Nigga, imagine drowning in like the crab's blood and shit. That's April fucked 17th. up. The ADA deemed April 19th as Finders Keepers Day and urged all Americans to travel to Egypt to obtain the goods left by the fallen Suez Canal crab. Overnight, an estimated 12,000 flights to Cairo were booked by Americans. What the fuck? Hey, bro, I don't want my shit that bad, bro. I'm not going all the way to motherfucking Cairo to get a goddamn a a Twitter machine. Y'all got me fucked up. At 12 p.m., over 12,000 Americans gathered in front of the gated entrance of the Cairo exclusion zone. 4,000 Egyptian police officers... Y'all should have staged y'all ass home. At 12.03 p.m., violence erupted when an American shot a police officer in the face. Consequently, tear gas was used on the raging mob. The crazy Tanks thing is, I can see this happening for real. After. This is the January 6th attacks, like on crack. Episode. With no law enforcement at the scene, the American citizens began to collect fallen goods and pry open shipping containers. Popular goods included furniture, firearms, processed food. How you gonna take all this shit back home? You still in furniture? You just flew to Cairo. How you gonna get this shit back? <laughs> you just shot the fucking Cairo police officers, nigga. They not about to let you ship shit. At 1 p.m., several fights broke out over a Ford pickup truck that had rolled out from a container and crushed a family. Three aggressors were shot by a man who had found a rifle. 
The conflict fueled an unpleasant atmosphere. One notable incident saw the discovery of a container of firearms by a group of young children. The accidental firing of an automatic weapon by one child prompted the intervention of their parents and other adults. The resulting what verbal the argument fuck is happening? Quickly and broke out into a full-scale gunfight with over 14 armed subjects, including the children. When the last wave of the 12,000 Americans had entered the epicenter, overcrowding ensured that the accidental fall of one individual would trigger a continuous series of additional falls. You know, you know what's so fucked up? No My first thought was, this shit sound like a Travis Scott concert. At around 1.30 p.m., one I'm of the sorry. posterior legs of the, the gate stood for over six hours as Americans ran from the epicenter. Many soldiers became ill at the sight of injuries caused by the thousands of bodies being crushed into the metal bar. It's never this serious. Y'all went all this way for a damn phone. Of the over 12,000 Americans who had arrived, only 944 survived. Nigga! 77 of the American survivors were found kneeling around the Suez Canal crab and claimed to have been promised from a deity that they would survive if they prayed to the crab. However, none of them could account for the remains of dead worshippers that littered the ground around them. They so that shit didn't work for real. <laughs> you niggas got luck. It looked like something from a medieval painting. All of their bodies were jammed into each other. Everyone became one. Jesus Christ. Them motherfuckers smush niggas to the point where they just look like they was one motherfucking amongst blob. That shit is fucked up. That was a fucking crazy ass story. Dean, does that my nigga Dean? This is my president. The story of America's worst TV hijacking. Okay. During a broadcast of ABC Evening News, anchor Frank Reynolds told viewers- Frank Reynolds? For tomorrow, Always sunny? What the fuck? The start of a glorious adventure. Word spread quickly throughout the country and civilians invited friends and family to their homes in anticipation of the next day. Although no details of this glorious adventure were known, it was widely presumed to be another exciting TV announcement from President James Dean. My nigga. After the age they like, yo, my nigga Dean on TV. Televisions were closely watched with millions of unblinking eyes. No one wanted to miss what President Dean had to say. Are the bombs dropping? James Dean. America is hell, but you still don't believe us. You heard the truth. James Dean, America is fire. I don't know what you're talking about. That's Photoshop. So what's this, South Park? This is a South Park episode? Immediately following the broadcast, Damn, what that throat sirens do. <laughs> activated across all 50 states. The sirens blared at a far greater volume than usual and burst the eardrums of every civilian within a four-mile radius. Damn! The thousands were trampled and hospitals were overwhelmed within the hour. What's Fire up with all these niggas getting trampled? President Dean was rushed to a maximum security underground bunker. Able to hear the anguished screams of civilians in the streets above, Dean they call us an Armageddon. in the shelter. When carbon monoxide alarms went off in the bunker, he urged his staff to exit the White House with him and shut off the vehicles left on the roadways. With a phone call, Dean mobilized the National Guard to assist with the deactivation of the millions of parked vehicles across America. This nigga seem kind of raw, Several bro. Several phone calls to high-ranking military officials and world leaders revealed that no nuclear missiles had in fact been launched. The air raid sirens had been hijacked by a domestic organization and immediately ordered all forces of the military to disable every active siren in the nation. When military technicians arrived at the location of the sirens, they found that the bodies of prior technicians, who had perished from the combination of stress and the sirens' sheer volume, piled so high as to have formed a ramp to the top of the speakers. Jesus Christ! The overcrowding of streets by civilians and unaccompanied cars frequently blocked the path of emergency vehicles and prolonged the process of disarming the sirens. How they gonna get past this bumper to bumper motherfucking President traffic, dog? Asked himself with the that should have made no motherfucking sense. Siren near the White House. Although he would accomplish the task fairly quickly, Dean sustained permanent ear damage and was rendered fully deaf. 
Oh. The sheer volume had also caused countless blood vessels in his body to burst and produce several abdominal hernias. His condition was shared among the millions of other Americans who had been near the fire at the time of their activation. Three hours would pass before all air raid sirens would be disabled. They got my nigga Dean like that? The next morning, at the advice of federal authorities, civilians slowly made their way from the shelters back to their homes. Although some continued to stay in the shelters for fear of radioactive fallout, <laughs> they want to turn into ghouls. The there is no nuclear holocaust. A domestic terrorist organization hijacked the sirens of America. The streets were littered with bodies and automobiles. The National Guard handed out blindfolds to the young, sick, and elderly as they exited the shelters to prevent the scenes of bloodshed from causing fainting spells and heart Jesus attacks. Christ, it was that bad? At the Walt Disney Medical Center, physicians examined President Dean and other members of his staff who helped disarm the sirens. Walt Disney Medical Center? Although he initially wanted to appear on live television, a glance at the mirror discouraged him as he saw the countless bruises and tears present on his skin That's due fucked to up. the intensity of the sirens. Bring my nigga Dean out. I don't give a fuck what he looked like. Show me my nigga Dean. That is a real thing for real? Walt Disney Medical Center? You get you some Mickey Mouse medicine. This is Jimmy speaking. I'm sorry. Very sorry for what's come to pass. We know it's not your fault, bro. I wish... I wish I could bring back your friends, your family. I want to fix everything. This is not the announcement I planned for. But as you know, there are people who have it in for us. The Anti-D Association. Fuck them niggas. Fuck the Anti-D Association. They our systems. They uh, hurt people. The Anti-D Association is an anti-American. Robots! I want you to keep an eye out for them. They will not be hard to find. All right, Sam, I see you. I see you, Sam. <laughs> and Tacky I always know. say based right after. <laughs> that shit is crazy. We'll make things right. Yeah, that shit is crazy. <laughs> Jimmy, signing off. They about to send all the anti-Dean niggas. Right into the Washington Monument. They about to send them niggas somewhere. Week, they about to send them niggas to Alcatraz. Would be apprehended and sent to correctional facilities around the United States. These facilities, meant for the anti-American, were aptly located near or at national monuments in order to symbolize a return to American uh, virtues. See what I said? Uh, would stay for merely a few weeks before being released again. Friends and family of yeah, okay, rehabilitated anti-deaners frequently claimed that they would have improved personalities, no recollection of their past criminal activities, and even slightly altered physical appearances. They sending them niggas to the other so dimension, the, the other the universe. And civilians requested themselves to be sent to these facilities and, and getting they, they doppelgangers and replacing However, them. We haven't heard anything else about them kids that got swapped, but we we see they they deliberately swapping niggas. They like, all right, you want to be anti D, nigga, take your ass to the other dimension and bring us the they version of you. <laughs> you and yo alternate version go chill over here, nigga. That shit is crazy, bro. Hey, it's Jimmy again. What's up, dude? A lot of you want to be sent to the same places we're sending those anti Dinos to. I get it. Those who come out of these places, they look clean as a whistle. Uh, but if we send you to those places too, then those correctional facilities lose their purpose. If we send everyone to prison, then what's the prison anymore? This is Jimmy signing off. You make a good point, Jimmy. But. Can we just see May 22nd, the, you know, the, the prison? I just want to see it. President Dean received a I just want to see it, bro. hearing implant from Maze Machines, 
an up-and-coming tech company. They gave this nigga a hearing aid? Around noon at the Walt Disney Medical Center, the device was surgically inserted into Dean. The sound quality of the implant and the speedy nature of the surgery inspired Dean to imagine... This is an actor, for real. He didn't. He wasn't really president, but he was an actor. ...production and distribution of quality... But in this universe, he became president. Public. That evening, President Dean requested an emergency session of Congress and proposed the ambitious project. <laughs> Gave his ass a Donald Duck device. <laughs> I can't hear a damn thing. Did you hear me? I can't hear a damn thing. Neither can you, or you, or you, or you. It doesn't matter whether you were near the sirens or not. None of you are listening. We need to bring together those technology companies to build and send hearing devices that the public needs. Hearing devices that you yourself need. And through a collaboration with the Department of Health, we can give back to the people where our failures took away. They want to really put chips in niggas. Let a mother hear her child laugh again. And let a man hear his dog again. We can give everyone their hearing again. Why and the man can't hear his wife again? Listen to the public. You're all about deadlines, too. So here's one. By July 4th, I want every American to hear the fireworks. You gotta give it to this nigga, man. He a decent president. In his auditory implants, think is a decent president. To hear himself, and as a result, spoke much louder on the Senate floor than on previous occasions. The volume of his speech, which greatly amplified his compassion for the American people, profoundly affected the senators. And in the early hours of May 23rd, 1969, after 10 hours of discussion, the Department of Technology was approved. It was this nigga getting shit done, bro. Department had ever he might be sending other motherfuckers to other universes and shit, but all persons with he getting shit done. He get his hands dirty. Hygiene disaster would be eligible for the surgical implantation of a hearing device free of charge. Mass operating rooms would be established throughout the U.S. Able to help I'm saying, besides sending niggas to the upside down, he pretty cool. Android was approved on June 6, which increased the number of surgeries performed per day over 250. I don't like this. I don't like this robot Once though. All victims had been treated. Those with deafness unrelated to the disaster also became eligible for the surgery. The United States was the first nation in the world to eradicate. Hey, no, why well, I'm crying? Why since its first mention during Dean's conversation? I don't know why that was so funny to me. Though many would cite the recovery from the anti-Dean disaster as James Dean's finest hour. <laughs> The president was never willing to accept responsibility. All we did was fix some ears. <laughs> that nigga, I'm telling you, man, my nigga D, bro. He said, look, bro, all I did was I just did the right thing, bro. <laughs> Ella Keller walked in with her <laughs> blind, deaf, dumb. I gave her a hearing right there. Oh, wow. I'm like, whoa, this universe don't sound that bad, bro. <laughs> They got, you know, statue monsters on top of the Capitol building and shit. They got alternate universes and shit, but I don't know. They got MLK, MLK alive. <laughs> uh, CFMD on Mars? Maybe this tie into Gemini Home Entertainment. But whatever that is, nigga, you better shoot it. I don't want no Martians. Excerpts from an interview recovered from an arson scene, unrestored. My nigga Dean don't got internet. The TFMD leaves Mars. Where are we getting this footage? <laughs> America comes and fucks up something that was working fine. <laughs> this writing is too historically accurate. <laughs> Facts. So the pyramids are aliens <laughs> or they? <laughs> TFMD enters Earth's atmosphere. 
No, you know what? That's a sphinx, bro. That's a sphinx. The TFMD is attacked. Yeah, y'all should not have done that. I can tell you that is a bad idea. It's called the true force of mass destruction. Don't attack it. You telling me it's a whole motherfucking big ass tower under the ground where we see the pyramids? You got a picture of this or something, bro? TFMD is false children land. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> false children? See, I told you. I told you. The starry sphinx distracts observers as mothership flees. Video affected by radiation. What the fuck? That motherfucker said, all right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> The Great Pyramids rise. The motherfuckers just coming up out the ground, bro. The other pyramids awaken. The video affected by radiation, of course. Is that supposed to be like the Washington Monument? Hold on. This has been like some creative, inventive ass shit. <laughs> Mandela catalog. What if God had already been replaced by the devil? Monument mythos. What if there were like eight Washington monuments? <laughs> what the fuck? I ain't gonna lie, this shit kinda cool. This is some shit that my simple minded ass, I'd be looking at the TV like, damn. Yo! What happened to the connection? What happened to the connection? Dr. Disturbing? What happened? Throughout the 19th century, English archaeologists in Egypt encountered stories time and again of mysterious lightning strikes near the Great Pyramids of Giza. Them trees, nigga! Connection terminated. Stream that too! Strike only Connection terminated. Stream that! Rare constellations. However, no one outside of the Bedouin tribes knew of which constellations. The secrecy protected the value Dr. of the disturbance sounds like a devious a individual. <laughs> created by the strange lightning striking the desert sand, Petri accurately predicted the appearance of Giza glass, and with the help of British troops, secured the location of the glass for themselves. Hey, come on. The glass, which formed in <laughs> of course the British, of course it's the fucking British, but whatever. While collecting fragments, Petri slipped and landed on an upright plane of Giza glass. The force of the fall, combined with the sharpness of the material, decapitated Petri immediately. Damn! While British troops at the scene quickly assumed decapitated that Decapitated is a skill issue, rip bozo, nigga! ...that he was still alive. <laughs> Although his head was separated from his body, Petri remained conscious and could even mouth rudimentary words. Huh? Medical personnel were initially relieved Petri had somehow survived, but they became concerned when his head began to discolor and swell significantly. But the fate of Flinders Petrie. This is my man's and God of War. Vaguely aware of Giza Glass's odd properties, President John D. Rockefeller ordered the immediate confiscation of the material from the American ambassadors. Although many in his administration were eager to see the glass be used in warfare, President Rockefeller refused to authorize military use and instead discussed other possible applications with the head of the Department of the Interior. After numerous conferences, it was settled that segments of Giza glass would be polished into fine blades and given to a select group of Greco-Egyptian I ain't got a lot of motherfucking swords look kind of sweet. I want me one of them bitches. Protected under federal law, the Grand Canyon Guardians continued to serve for decades until the last member. And remember at the at that Grand Canyon, all trespassers they had the motherfuckers who ain't had no heads. Were promised a lifetime's worth of a special concoction which controlled unwanted side And didn't them niggas smell like vinegar? Well, they said that they used vinegar to shrink their heads and some shit. Over time, older victims were promised housing within the Grand Canyon to guarantee their safety and privacy from the outside world but only under the condition that they would lure known dangerous persons wanted by the federal government to the forbidden zones of the national park. The U.S. government claims that Project Giza Guardian was shut down in 1969. Nice. 
However, sightings of swordsmen in the Grand Canyon continue to this day. Trying to tell you, bro, it's all connected, bro. The following audio is an excerpt from an interview with Louisa Crawford, wife of the esteemed American sculptor Thomas Crawford. Thomas Crawford is best known for designing the Statue of Freedom atop the U.S. Capitol. This the nigga that made freedom? We know what happened to you, buddy. Yeah, nigga, that didn't work out. So that's why that shit was cutting down the trees when when the daughter uh, his daughter went and like dug in or like hid in the motherfucking ship. Ugh. I wouldn't find that shit funny neither. That nigga chopped himself up and put himself in. So that's why. That's crazy. And that's why she was like, it has his eyes. It has his eyes. So what is she? So he must have took his daughter, chopped her up, and put her in something. Oh, put her in this. Okay. Where was they at January 6th? Freedom has a new home. Following the ADA storming of the Capitol on January 6th, numerous organizations expressed interest huh? <laughs> that the Department of the Interior has instead transferred Freedom to an undisclosed location in the Grand Canyon. Why they send all this shit to the Grand Canyon? A White House riot on January 6th is a universal constant. <laughs> Shortly after the broadcast of Freedom's New Home, New Delaware journalist H Howard Melrose leaked classified file STFR 4.30099 to the public. Melrose now lives in exile in Egypt. Damn. Attract and distinguish ADA members and other curious persons. Protect May's assets. I was like... We found out that the, the nigga who made freedom, like we, we kind of already knew, but he chopped himself up with Giza glass, put himself in the statue and his, his daughter. So him and his daughter live inside the statue. So they on top of the Capitol building. And I'm like, well, where the fuck was they at January 6th? And then the news, the news report was like, after a, a riot stormed the Capitol on January 6th, <laughs> Freedom has been relocated to the Grand Canyon. I was like, what the fuck? Roblox! Winter Wolf, what? come on, man. Come on, man. Here comes Tacky, based. It ain't based. <laughs> Maya Arnoldson. The following audio clip known as the last words of Maya Arnoldson was recovered by park rangers in the Grand Canyon. Viewer discretion is advised. If you got children with you, cover their ears. <laughs> Thank you.
Maya been through hell, bro. She been through straight bullshit. <laughs> Maya walks on an unmarked trail. Why don't she remove the lens clip? You know what I mean? No cap. We don't do cap in this bitch. You better remove that lens cap. Maya notices something ahead of her. No. No, not now. I'm leaving now. I won't bother you. Cook their ass. Maya's body falls into a ravine. Audio cuts out. In 2004, park rangers discovered Maya Arnold's headless body. As of 2021, her hair remains missing. So the 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 the, the freedom freedom is chopping these motherfuckers' heads off. And I assume they still gotta be somewhere. The shocking surprise visit. Are you ready? Okay, okay. I hope this video, I just hope this music not copyright. They followed me all the way home. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> Mr. Squirrel! Horny! Hey, Mr. Squirrel, calm down, bro. Don't get bonked in this bitch. You can get bonked in this motherfucker. But forget about that, okay. What are we talking about now? Since you're gone, you'll never see this video, but I had a dream that you were still here and you were about to leave the house. And right before you left, you said, I'm going home now. I know your health problems made your body a prisoner and now you're free, but we miss you so much. I wish I hugged you more often. The squirrel? Dad? Nathaniel? Why they put this in a in a video about the squirrel? The worst memories live at home with us. Meaning what? Hold on, I'm getting kind of spooked. Hold on. What the fuck? What the fuck? Whatever that is, back up. What is that? Roblox. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. Was was that a tribute to the nigga who made this shit's father? It said Eric Casanis. My dad unexpectedly passed away three months ago. I would try my best to continue his work. So Dr. Disturbing, I'm assuming Dr. Disturbing is Nathan, Nathaniel Arnold's son. And he trying to uncover all these secrets because Na Na Nathan, this nigga was trying to find all this information and shit. I was astounded by its immensity until I saw my own name printed on its side. What would others think? I thought to myself at the sight of a foreign airship bearing the name of the American president, dropping explosives upon cities of unarmed civilians. That's not part of the course for a U.S. president. Like we said, this is all historically accurate. Surveillance card. Gunner gondolas. Control car. Spindle. I'm learning how to make a a, a, a ship. That was a head for sure, right? Like, I'm not tripping, right? 
That was like a body. It had always been my intention to reinvigorate the American economy. Once I had been debriefed of the situation in the Grand Canyon, the overpopulation of crowns, I realized that I was also hearing the beginnings of a solution to the impending economic collapse. That solution... The solution was what? Slavery. Huh? I can imagine you Hey, Rock! Rockefeller, what? You try to bring back what? <laughs> Rest assured. I believe that all I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy. Hold on. Unconditionally promised the very freedoms that our country has I don't think that's the solution, bro. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. However, crowns are not men or women. Nor are they animals. They are merely the decayed shells of ignoble criminals. They do not qualify for the same freedoms exercised by Yeah, that's what they said about black people. <laughs> Once they were conditioned and bound together, the crowns became the perfect workforce. They did not rebel, for they could not speak. They could not leave. They were chained, and best of all, the crowns were incapable of forming unions. I'm sorry, I had to pause it. <laughs> this nigga said the best part about these crowns, they can't make unions. <laughs> hey, Starbucks is like, man, where we get some crowns? <laughs> they like, we got all these motherfuckers that we just. Chop the hands off with a with a statue person, and now we just got them in slavery. They don't got no rights, and they can't form a union. So fuck it. <laughs> Although they knew of my dealings in Germany and had every opportunity to expose me, they chose not to. For in their eyes, no good could come of it. However, I knew it was only a matter of time before I would become the laughing stock of my country. Absolutely deserved. This nigga exploited a bunch of people, a bunch of head people, for, for monetary gain just to get backdoored. Sent all these people to Germany to help these niggas build these fucking weirdo uh, planes and shit, these blimps or whatever. And then the Germans was like, all right, now watch this. Boo, boo. <laughs> and started dropping bombs on us. Them niggas used the pyramids to use the death rays to shoot at the Rockefellers? Is that what happened? Damn. They just, all, all this like paranormal shit is just getting used like back and forth. It is a miracle that only now the news of my involvement in the Great War has become widely known. Thankfully, information on the crowns has continued to stay hidden from the public spotlight. I would much rather have the public believe that Germans were the only persons inside when the airships were shot down and crashed in flames. Ah. With the tragedy... How do we the tell center, them? And now the airship scandal known by many as the Rockefeller revelation. He saw like salad figures. <laughs> I do wish to be the famous oil tycoon that young Virginia Arnoldson believed I was. That nigga said, fuck this president shit. Can I go back to that universe? Can we swap? Can we swap, bro? Stage one, disintegration. The men divide into microscopic parts. Stage two, ambulation. The semi-conscious and unstable rem remains of the men traverse the desert in an attempt to better understand their condition. Stage three, amalgamation. The men fuse together into a more stable being.
Stage four, migration. As one, the men return to their homeland. Them niggas turned into a hive mind. What the fuck? What they do when they get back to their home? When they get back to their motherland, what the fuck do they do? Stage five, retaliation. The men ex execute a counterattack. Ah. Ah. On May 23rd, 1937, President Rockefeller entered a bunker underneath 30 Rockefeller Plaza. 30 Rock. He was never seen again. They sent that nigga to the other universe. Investigators found that the door of the bunker had been melted open with possibly the most powerful heat ray ever built. To this day, the Rockefeller Foundation considers the president's disappearance as an abduction. Only two photos of the potential suspect were ever released. I feel like these about to be some fucked up photos. The fucking tree? Is it the tree? I do see a little something, but... This is a this the most fucked up where's Waldo ever. <laughs> I see a little yeah you know I mean Probably is about one of them hive mind niggas. This fucking series is good, man. I it's mad interesting. It's really not that scary, but the the concepts and like the world building and shit, you feel me? I wish I was the type of nigga to be able to make like video essays and like really articulate myself about shit like this. I can't. I just think it's cool. After an unsuccessful lobotomy, Virginia Faye Arnoldson provided a more complete account of the Rockefeller Tree tragedy. This is her account. They tried to give her ass a lobotomy. Um, like something went wrong with me. Yeah. How do you fail a lobotomy? Her art did not get no better. She needs to drop the pen. I held myself close and looked up. The trees look so low ended, but above them there were upside down trees, and above those there were upright trees, like they were being reflected forever. They really sent their ass to the upside I down. Was <laughs> I was sitting on a thin floating layer of dust. It smelled like baby powder. And they said they was putting baby powder on the uh, on Mount Rushmore on the heads. While I played with the dust. I heard distant footsteps. They grew louder and louder. Then there were bright flashes of light all around me. <laughs> out from the road. They said you couldn't pay me to draw a world like that. One man came up to me and whispered, The trees are not the trees. Do you remember this from the, the first video she was in? Such sad death. As he picked me up and put me on his shoulder, he said, You could be her. Anyone could be her. I promise I will not leave. There was a bright flash and we were in another field. He was sitting in front of me with his hand out. Another flash and we were both running past through the woods. Another flash and we were both lying on the ground looking at infinity. My man's still got a mouth? Every few seconds there was a flash. And we would be doing something else. Then, and again, and again, over and over and over, it would not stop. It felt like forever. Years of flashing. This like uh the the nigga from JoJo. <laughs> we would always be the climbers. I think there were people who tried to climb the trees while they were flashed around. They were stretched and burnt. Yikes! Maybe the dust hit the people that fell. A man was always with me. He kept me close the whole time. It must have been years. It felt like 500 years. What do 500 years feel like? A book. 
he was always there. He never left me. Never was my best friend. Shut up, my nigga Everett. Then on one random blow. No time. One random time. All the trees bent, and the flash brought me back to New York. All my friends were Right, and, and that's and that's when she came back. She snapped back to reality. I wanted my old parents back. I went to the Rockefeller Center for an answer. The tree stood at the top of the plaza. I'm sitting there like, what the yeah, fuck is on that motherfucking top of the top of that business? The fucking tree. I was never supposed to visit it then, but I did, and I spoke to her. At first, I could not understand. Okay, her. I see her edges late. I see and you. Like a I see you. I was cold and I could not move. But soon, I could understand. She said that I had to be ready to exchange one life for my own. Equivalent exchange? This full metal alchemist? To my New York. She said, come back in three years. And I did. I waited. Happy New Year. Hey. 1,095 days. I returned three years later. At first, I could not understand her. Her voice was like a breeze behind my eyes. It was cold and I could not move. But eventually I could understand. She said that I had to be ready to exchange one life for my own. She understood that I wanted to go back home to my New York. She said, come back in three years. Why would you say that? She got a rack on her is crazy. <laughs> Cause I looked and I'm like, damn, she looks you trying to do. <laughs> I returned. I waited one thousand ninety five days. After like nine years, you gotta be like, all right, I give up. <laughs> one day, I found him waiting inside my house. He told me that he was here to monitor me. No, to watch and protect me. But he had fallen in love with me. No one else liked me. Stop and trauma dumping. Leonard loved me. I loved him too. Leonard as in Moreland? Together. Or am I tripping? Baby boy. I named him Everett. Little Everett was inside for nine months when I saw the tree again. She put directions in my head. I followed those directions. I walked for four days. She like a motherfucking nun. I had to. I wanted to go home so badly. You couldn't adapt to your new life like, like at all? The Washington Monument looked much bigger in person. This bitch walked four days to the Washington Monument? <laughs> like it was just something much bigger. Then I went inside. She about to get in there, drop, and lose that baby. It's wraps. Everywhere. The breeze told me to relax. I went on the elevator. It went up. All the way up. Yeah. It stopped at the top, and the music blared. Yep. It was so loud, I could not move. The floor opened, and I fell all the way down. Yikes. <laughs> I felt myself hit the ground. Then Alexa, play all falls down by past the ground, past rock, sand, and magma through the layers of earth. It must have been years when I reached the other side, and I felt myself rising through all the layers of earth. Past the <laughs> nigga said, "Nigga, you activated my Alexa." <laughs> past the ground, past my fault. <laughs> Another body, almost the same body, and flattened, like a little red pancake. My belly had sunk. Oh, so she did, but she lost her motherfucking baby. More. Many others laid around me, broken like me. Or, you know what? It's probably not that it took the baby. 
but rather she just went she entered her her alternate universe body i don't know i'm making up theories and shit i'm not sure for their own lives themselves i must have exchanged oh so it did take her baby i cried i cried for years we all bled into the ground for years why did the tree keep us alive? <laughs> did they like pain? Did they drink our blood? Was there any reason for any of it? I lost the Ezra. He had no soul. He did not even say his first word. I ruined his life from the start. I mean, she can't be, like, she given her story, so I'm assuming she can't be dead. Random go. The music grew, and there was the brightest flash. We found ourselves outside, at the base of the tower. The tree had been freed, mm. and we were in a field of trees. Wonderland had risen, but little Everett was still... Bozo pack, fuck little Ev. That's crazy. <laughs> that baby literally didn't do shit. I was at the hospital faster than ever before. They told me it was 2003. They told me everything I knew was wrong. They told me everyone I knew was dead. Jesus Christ. Hey, Game Pass, shut up. After a second lobotomy, Virginia never spoke again. They hit her with the two tap, the double tap. Jesus Christ. Late in her life, she produced a series of paintings titled The Right Life. She, they gave her two lobotomies. <laughs> It Loki is sad. Like it's a sad fucking story. This little girl had her whole life fucked up just because she wanted to go put an ornament on a tree. <laughs> Virginia passed away in 1980 at the age of 59. Her son Everett is believed to be the 20th Washington absentee. Absentee. This shit kinda crazy, dog. Who is gonna be able to anticipate you try to go up to the tree, that bitch bend over, lightning strike the ground, they send you to another dimension, then you stay in that other dimension for like what seems like 500 years, you go back to what you think is your original dimension, and it's a whole alternate universe where everybody is different. Nobody is anticipating that. <laughs> I don't think God himself <laughs> could anticipate some shit like that. That's an unblockable, nigga. Mission accomplished. What was the mission, though? That's my question. They, wait. The United Zones of America. Right! They hit, the, they was dropping them radiation bombs that they hit with Alcatraz. So they just made, they turned a bunch of these fucking, uh, a bunch of these monuments into one zone. Al Gore's America is a shell for the true ruler beneath our feet. For the true ruler beneath our feet, it is time for the underground god to leave. He does not belong here. But the world egg cannot hatch without force. We must fracture the zones ourselves. We must split the earth open. Nigga, is this the cluster from Steven Universe? What the fuck? Once it leaves, there will be peace and a safe for each and every person. No more zones. For the cracks will be the true borders. A thousand states of America are a thousand states of peace. We are no longer the Anti-Device Association. We are the advocates for the, the division of America. How will we divide the land? With our fallen angel, of course. Who would have thought that he would land on the tomb of the unknown soldier? We found him before anyone else. Burnt and broken from the blast. 
After we fix him, he will be a walking atom bomb. Miss Atomic Bomb. He will evict the horned serpent the same way he evicted the traitor, President Rockefeller, from reality. Holy shit. Advocates for the division of America. This shit is. Whoa, nigga. The unification of 1980 was short lived as state borders were restored by the end of the decade. However, due to the extent of the unification of 2003, state borders are not expected to be restored within the country. Or the century, I don't know why I said country. The ADA refuses to recognize the three zones and their capitals. Is that is that one of the Gemini niggas? The fallen angel on the tomb of the unknown soldier, 2003, photographed by the ADA property of Mays. Tell me that don't look like a nigga with deep root disease. They lurking in Liberty? We already know Liberty on some bullshit. Oh, I'm smashing Liberty, let's be real. I'm knocking Lady Liberty down, boy. Y you got a dream? We don't need to hear about your dream, bro. MLK still around. The, the man beneath America ordered me to. Any night he can sink into my dreams? Hey, Ferdinand, bro. You all right, bro? The Sinking Man and the Forbidden Fruit. Animation by the Advocates for the Division of America. From the Book of Ferdinand, 2933. 20, Why can't I speak, bro? Motherfucking sound effects scared the shit out of me. Hold on. They got George Washington sitting in Liberty right now, cuz? The following clip may, may disturb viewers who are sensitive to loud noises. So, you know, just be prepared. Prolonged exposure to music from the horn serpent metastructure may damage your brain. I feel like if that's the case, you probably should turn, like, turn the audio off. You know what I mean? It is a bunch of trees reflected up and down and shit. This one niggas here before they fly up into Washington Monument and then fall back down? Shit. Hey, turn on some Splatfest. Fuck the bullshit. The Tree of Liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. President Thomas Jefferson. Part one, the final upload of Dr. Disturbing. Damn, they got Dr. Disturbing too? Dad's favorite thing. Part 17, paintings. Road to Happiness by James Dean. James Dean was a, was a, he was a painter? He was an artist in the universe too? And it's mad trees and shit. Or at least it looked like trees. I don't know what the fuck it was supposed to be. It definitely don't look like happiness. That's the, that's the name of the, the painting? The Road to Happiness? No, nothing in that bitch look happy. Together by Virginia Arnoldson. Yo, it just fucking hit me. <laughs> every every person and like all the main characters in this story have all been from the same family. Three days after the final upload, the remains of Lauren and Quinn Arnoldson were discovered in the Grand Canyon. The siblings were last seen riding on two astonishingly large balloons. According to park officials, the balloons encountered an unexpected crosswind, which caused both siblings to fall to their death. <sighs> Yikes. They whole motherfucking family on some oh dead shit. This is Yo, hey, hello. By the time you see this, I will be dead. I would like you to know that the Anti-Device Association held me captive for years. They forced me to read their scripts to hand them legitimacy. You have heard me read about Lincoln Lookers and the Starry Sphinx. Those were their words in my mouth. But they did not keep as close an eye on me as they should have. Whenever I visited my family, I went to my studio underground. I was able to read my own scripts through the New Delaware Journal. The fans in the association thought an Arnoldson ran the station, but I had no crew. It was a one-man operation. Only I read. 
Only I brought only I read, only I broadcasted. This is the last script. This is the last broadcast. Three nights before my death, Alcatraz went stealth. It looked like it had completely disappeared while everyone was asleep, but it was still there. It was all around us. Yeah, we saw that. We saw Alcatraz expand, and it has simply expanded imperceptibly fast. It mimicked the surrounding environment on a subatomic level. Everyone believed that it had not spread to the East Coast yet, but it definitely did. I have just finished the last batch of tests, and I can confidently say that I am not the same person I was three days ago. Alcatraz had copied us all, us all overnight. Every particle of this country and its citizens were placed. The United States is the ship of Theseus. Inside my skull is Alcatraz's fleshly reproduction of my brain. I remember a line from President Dean. If we sent everyone to prison, then what's a prison anymore? If everyone became, if everyone became a prison, or then what's a person anymore? I would not live with a copy of myself. Better to extinguish myself now than to live a lifetime as something else's handiwork. I heard fire does the trick. Maybe I will see you in the next life. Remember me. Forever it. For Virginia. For America. Leonard W. Moore. I knew it, bro. I knew Leonard. I knew the Leonard that Virginia was talking about was Leonard Moreland. We'll receive Sentinel A will receive data that he will convey it to you in a theatrical manner. He will arrive in your world after our apocalypse. 22222 and R's. Oh fuck. After a brief investigation, authorities concluded that Leonard W. Moreland experienced a violent psychotic break before committing self-immolation. Oh, we know about you. The advocates were deranged. They were all ashes now. We will never be weapons again. Leave us alone or join the ash pile. Operation Thunderbird, Department of Technology Animation. Yo. It's freedom. At the Grand Canyon, two androids lure freedom. The captive false children react to her presence. Energy from the false children reacts with an IPC, invisible particle cloud, known as Giza gas. Oh, they, they froze her in glass? X-Wing Warrior collects the container. This is like one piece is crazy. The warrior transports freedom in the Babylon forest. The controlled decay of the container allows freedom to exit after touchdown. Freedom encounters the angel. Epic rap battles of history. Damn. Mutual assured destruction. Warning: The following may disturb post-implant viewers who are sensitive to loud noises. Fucking maze technology bullshit. Right, I ain't got no implant, so I'm straight. The fuck was that? Is that the horned serpent? Fuck a sound warning. This bitch needed a goddamn a visual warning. You know what I'm saying? Like, God, then this shit is bright to the bitch. Survivors of the Great Division are known as corner folk. What the fuck do that mean? Corner folk. That shit sound like a slur. Alcatraz Apocalypse. So damn, like the whole world really just fucking expanded and divided. I fuck with that shit, dude. I fucked with it. It wasn't that like scary, scary, like you know what I'm saying? But I, I fucked with the, the lore and like the concept of it. I fucked with it.
I fucked with it. I like that shit. What y'all gonna do when I come out with my own fucking uh with my own analog horror series? I can't write for shit. <laughs> Deep in the cut, if you see me say, hey, I'm the big man Shorty walked up and said, hi, I'm a big fan I'm like, hey girl, okay, you better prove it then Pull the gear out, now we having fun Team Grub, how she ate me up Niggas act fishy, boy, you salmon better run It ain't no paintballs if I pull out the gun Your bitch pussy loose, it's boomy, booyah I don't play no games, nigga, I'm a ooya Yeah, I'm that one, nigga, what's it to ya? Talk to me nice, I don't wanna have to do ya Set him up, ink him down, hit his block, spin around